Hey guys, welcome back. Orbaum here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Now today, people, today we're doing more post-rotation decks, although we're probably going to be playing on the ladder. I did message some people to see if they wanted to play. I haven't gotten any responses yet. Oh, did the power just come? Okay, that was weird. Um, uh, but as I was saying, oh, I might have a broken charger. I might have to buy a new one. That would be a big problem. <laughs> As I was playing, we might be playing on the ladder, but we're having a little bit of fun today. We're actually going to be focusing on our boy Sneasel here, the new Sneasel that came out of Celestial Storm. A lot of you old school players will recognize this Sneasel because his beat up attack was incredibly broken back in the day. I forget what the deck was called, but it was just a deck that literally used beat up. And uh, it was 20 times, but back in the day that was really strong. Well, it got upgraded to 60, 30 times, and we have 60 HP, which is not bad. Uh, so hopefully... We can cop some W's with flipping. If you guys don't know what it does, for two darkness energies, flip a coin for each Pokemon you have in play. So it's up to six. Unless they're playing parallel. If they play parallel, I'm playing on the ladder. I hope they don't have any parallels. <laughs> Please don't put parallel on me. Oh, we have Shrine of Memories, which might bump it, but it's still kind of annoying. Flip a coin for each Pokemon you have in play. This attack does 30 damage for each head. So ideally, if we have six heads, we hit for 180. With the choice band, that's 210. With Shrine of Memories, that's like, what, 220? I guess 230. It can hit for a lot of damage. I mean, chances are we're not going to hit those. I was actually considering playing uh, Crushing Hammer in this deck. I couldn't find space for four because if I'm playing Crushing Hammer, I would want to play four. I'm playing two E-Hammers for now. If, I wonder if I can... Uh, there's nothing I can really make room for in this deck to put in two more Crushing Hammers. Just for the fun of it, you like kind of really want to do it. Hmm. I don't want to cut these guys because they win matchups. I don't want to cut the Weavile's. We're also playing two Weavile's. I guess we'll talk about the list before I talk about cutting cards. <laughs> We're playing four of these. This is the focus of the deck. So easy enough to get it. Two Dark Energies is actually not that bad. Uh, as long as they don't attack into our Pokemon uh, with a Lele. That'd be bad. <laughs> We're also playing Counter Energy in case they do do that kind of stuff and take prizes ahead of time. There'd be one attachment. We're also playing two Weavile's because Evil Admonition is really strong against a lot of decks in format right now. So at the very least, if we don't take Knockouts with Sneasel, we can at least evolve them into a Weavile and use Evil Admonition. Easy stuff. We're playing one Lele because this beats, uh, what's it called? This beats the thing that is Rayquaza. This beats Rayquaza. That's the, that's what we want to do. I guess we can also use Magical Swap if we like miss a bunch of knockouts. That that's a, And we're also playing Shrine of Memories, so Magical Swap is like not even that bad, bad, especially as it pairs with Counter Energy. But we have Counter Energy and we have Unit Energy in this deck, which also counts as like a basic fighting and basic dark energies. So it gives us like total 13, unlucky number 13. That means we're flipping nothing but tails, but we're going to have a we're gonna have fun. We'll also play Sudge Hammer in this deck just because it's nice against Zoark and that one turn where it matters. So we're playing a Sudge Hammer. And we're, of course, we're playing two Victory Star Fliptinis uh, so that we can use flip teeny that's pretty much all there is to do if you guys don't know what it does what's during your turn if you flip any coins for an attack you may ignore all results of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again so if we don't like the results of the first one we'll just do it again <laughs> uh anyways the whole point of this deck is to see if we can go positive in coin flips today uh, i gotta remember to look at the end of each game about our coin flippage but hopefully we can go positive we're still we're still playing too lately because we got to make sure we win but we have these other cards too counter catcher is good counter catcher is just good it's a good card it's a good counter catcher uh we gotta use counter catcher <laughs> two enhanced hammers because it's also a good card uh three nest balls because we want to make sure our bench is full of pokemon uh two rescue stretchers because i'm assuming our sneezles are going to be knocked out a lot we had a lot of fun testing this deck but we did test it against post rotation players so we'll see what happens uh four ultra balls because it's ultra ball four shrine of memories because i mean i guess in this format we can bump parallel but if we, if we ever don't play against parallel it's just a good card in general putting damage on the board to put things in sneasel so we don't have to flip as many heads is always nice a uh, one copycat is an extra draw supporter kind of to me it's like a fifth cynthia uh three guzma because we had to cut stuff we had to make space uh two judges two lilies four choice bands i found that i was not playing four and then i found that i really need those choice bands because i gotta hit for damage bro <laughs> two escape boards because everything in this deck has a one retreat cost except for the buzzwell and buzzwell is just a one energy retreat if you do attach it everything else is a one retreat cost uh in this deck so it's essentially a float stone in this deck which is kind of nice even though i don't like this card um <clears throat> i was playing three i don't remember why i was playing three so i cut it back down to two and put in an extra dark energy because i want to make sure we have plenty of energies we have three counter energies i wanted to play four uh but when i when i was playing four it ended up being a dead card a lot of time because we weren't always behind on prizes and then it doesn't even count as like this this requires two dark energies so if you attach it to sneasel it doesn't really count as an energy attachment for any attacker unless it is behind i guess you can use icy wind or fury swipes but like I guess you can also use it to power magical swap. <laughs> it's it, overall, I think it's good on the right turn. And since we're never really discarding in this deck, I found that I it's okay to just have three. One thing that kind of something I want to try out is acro bikes, but like it's hard to make space in this deck. 
to be honest. So I don't know. For now, this is the deckless, guys. Let's go ahead and suffer together. <laughs> let's suffer. Let's have a good time. Let's have, let's see how often we can flip heads. Maybe one day, if you guys, if this video gets 72 likes, specifically 72 likes, I will make a deck. I will I will rebuild Sneasel, but I'll add just a bunch of extra flip cards. I'm talking order pad. I'm talking uh, crushing hammer. I'll rebuild the deck to be like pretty much as entirely flipped as I can make it. All right, but we got to get those likes. So don't forget to drop a like on this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you have not already. Share if you have not already. Share, guys. We're trying to get to 5K. We're getting real close. We're getting real close. I hope I'm recording my audio. I am recording my audio. Good. Oh, this is an awkward hand. <laughs> and uh, hey, answer the common question of the day, which is what is your favorite flip card in the format? Let me know. Let me know. What is one card that requires you to flip that you just love? I am a huge order pad apologist, as in like, I will, I will defend that card to the day it dies because that order pad is an amazing card. I don't care what anyone says, best card in the game. Playing against fighting, which is always like, you know, a good time when we're weak to fighting. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We're going second too, so we can't even like get that extra turn of energy attachment. But we get to hide behind a Lele. So we just have to give this man two prizes <laughs> and hope he's not playing Lycanroc. And then we can set up our Sneasels, bro. No Max Elixirs, you know, which would be good in this deck if it was World's Format. But we don't play World's Format anymore because who cares about World's Format? Not I. Not I, sir. All right, so here's the thing about Buzzle, right? It Okos us without any boost. That kind of sucks. Also, this one Jet Punches, which then like 2-8 KOs the thing. So this is pretty bad. Um, I was hoping that there wouldn't be as much Buzzwell in format anymore. You could play the Psychic Lele on top of the Fairy Lele if you want to deal with Buzzwell a little bit better, I suppose. He already has a Beast Energy attached. I hope that we get an Enhanced Hammer. That'd be really cool. You know, we have like the Escape Board here. So that's pretty handy. See, the thing that sucks, though, is that we don't have too many energies in this deck, and I'm not playing that energy recycle system. So whenever we Ultra Ball, it's going to be pretty painful. But there's a Slugma. That's pretty dope. He's playing Slug um, uh, slug Cargo, I guess. Or Slug slug Cargo. Um, do that. And uh, I guess we are dropping these dark energies. I can't drop this. I can't drop these because they're too useful. But I will get me. Oh, we have two Sneasel's prized. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. I'll give him a heart too. I didn't mean to tell you well played. If you're going to watch this video in the future, know that that's not what I meant to do. We're going to send you here. <laughs> oh, yes. We get to we get to play Shrine. Get punished. I mean, we're going to get punished too, but it's okay. Because we're like running out of deck space, which kind of sucks. But that's okay. It's okay. Please do not kill me. You know what sucks? He doesn't have a lot of abilities down, so I can't even like abuse this. You know what I should have done? I should have fury swept this man. We don't have enough Pokemon on the board for me to like attack yet, which kind of sucks. Oh no, it's cool, I guess. You know, we're all having a good time here. We're having fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a sad face. I'm sad now. Good job, man. You're making me sad. Can't let me. Can't let me have fun with my Sneasel. What a buzzkill. Can you believe this guy, guys? God, can you believe this guy? And he's even going for the other Sneasel. Like, you know what? I'm putting this man to sleep. I don't even care. I'm putting him to sleep. I can't do anything because <laughs> we have two Sneasels prized. <laughs> oh, we can judge him. Give him more cards. Uh, that's the good time, I guess. Um, I have to put him to sleep and I have to get a stretcher. So that's like not great for me. I have to play that down too, just so I have more Pokemon on my board. All right, so at least we're putting him to sleep. Uh, I don't want to put down Sneasel until the turn I can attach an energy to it, so I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to put him to sleep. <laughs> that's all I can do. He has no abilities down, so go to bed. Go to sleep. Stay asleep. That's right. Stay asleep. Go to bed. Go to bed. Oh man, my shrine. <laughs> I really wanted that shrine. Why you gotta do this to me, bro? I like the idea of this deck because you have this. I think it's really cool to be able to use Macargo into a uh, Scorched Earth. I'd only like it because of a uh, B string. Unfortunately, we're losing Scorched Earth in rotation because that would be a really cool combo for post rotation. I mean, you have Acro Bikes, but they're just not as good. Is he gonna Guzma again? That'd be really sad. Please don't Guzma again. Just okay. Ending is fine. 
I get six cards this way. And he only gets five. Haha, <laughs> who's the real winner? Not me. <laughs> you know, it sucks because I don't have any more Sneasels. I just remembered. So I need to find a stretcher. Oh, nice. We found a stretcher, dude. That is pro plays right there. Why are you awake? You got to go back to bed, my dude. <laughs> You're going back to bed. But first things first, though. Let me, uh, let me, uh, get Sneasel back. We got Scorched Earth, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is how this is how you win Pokemon games, guys. If you didn't know, um, I'm just gonna put him to sleep because this thing's the biggest threat to me. Uh, I'm gonna attach a Choice Band to it. Just put put him in range. I don't think he's playing Acerola. Something tells me this deck does not play Acerola. Go to sleep. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Tails. Yeah, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Get the get that damage on you. Get get that thing on you. You know what sucks? I'm gonna take a knockout here, and then he's just gonna come in and take another knockout. Why do you keep having counter stadiums? Stop having counter stadiums. <laughs> why you, you've gone through three stadiums already you've only gone through two also i don't have a draw supporter again which sucks that's why i was trying to play more draw supporters in this deck but you no know, space is a thing you know what this deck needs it needs random receiver we need random receiver back in format dude all right why do you have another buzzwall he's gonna guzma me watch show me that guzma right now show me that guzma go ahead i'm not afraid act like i'm afraid i'm a little bit afraid Ah, oh, nice. Ah, oh, yes. And I have a, I have, I don't have free retreat, but I can retreat. Uh, mm, the question is now, do I counter catch the buzz wall? <laughs> I don't counter catch the buzz wall, Spoiler. You know, I could have just attached a counter energy and I just realized that. So I apologize. I'm going to hope. I'm going to hope. I'm going to hope. That I get a sneeze off the prizes. And then I can counter catch the following turn. That's my hope. Also, we need to land this. Uh, I can't, I'm only gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get enough heads. Beat up, let's do it. One, come on, come on. Stay asleep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay guys, we're, uh, uh, we're, we're leaving this game. Uh, <laughs> oh, so we, how many heads, how many heads we flipped that game? We flipped one heads three times. I'm gonna, I have to write this down. Hold on, I gotta write this down. Um, you know what, actually, you guys write it down, because I, I don't have any writing stuff on me, but. You guys have to keep track if I go positive this game. So far, we are no. <laughs> I think we only flipped that one time. Uh, but, you know, that one time, we we only landed heads 25% of the time, which is, like, not good. But we're definitely going to, I mean, also count the coin flip. So I guess if you count the coin flip of this game and the last game, I don't know if I flipped the last game, actually. Let's assume that we did, because we didn't go first last game. Uh, at least we start with a flip teeny. That's better than Lele. Um, <clears throat> uh, what's it called? Assuming that we did flip both games, right? We landed tails in both games. That means we flipped one five, one out of six, one out of six heads we flipped so far. I just want to prove to you guys that I'm not as lucky as people think I am. People think I'm lucky. I don't know what you're, I don't know what drugs you're on if you think I'm lucky. <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to use today's video as a deter, as we're going to determine right now if Orbomb is as unlucky as he claims. Because I, 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 I don't know about you guys, but, uh, I go through a lot of crap. My, this man is playing resistance. So, okay, let's count more unlucky things. I, first, I battle against weakness. Now I'm battling against resistance. Where's my Zoark decks, bro? Let me just fight my Zoarks. <laughs> Dude, call it trigger bomb. Um, Apricorn Maker could be interesting, but like it doesn't really get me too much of anywhere. I think we just the place. Actually, we can play Lily. Can we play Lily? I can Ultra Ball. I can drop. I don't want to drop anything. That sucks because I have to drop stuff. I have to I have to get Pokemon down on my board, right? So if I do play Ultra Ball, right? I'm dropping Stretcher because I have another one in the deck and Choice Band. All right, so I'm dropping Choice, which leaves me with... Okay, I'll be able to draw six still, so we're going to get Lily. As long as I'm drawing six, I'm fine. Because um, I'm going to drop these two here. You know, I could just drop an Energy card, attach a Unit Energy... It's not something I want to do, though, because I want to save the energies, but, like, I'm only saving them for Buzzwell, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. All right, we'll do this. We'll get Sneasel, because I'm just, I just, I'm going to throw down the Choice Band just because, like, I want to draw more. So if I do this, this is probably better. God, all three. That's crazy. Um, well, we'll just do this for the time being, get more Sneasels down. At least we don't have two Sneasels prize. Also, don't forget to mark that we had two, we had 50% of our Sneasels prize last game as well. So, uh, don't mark, mark all that down. I'm just venting at this point. Uh, we'll play down another Fliptini because, like, whatever, I guess. 
So we'll never get a knockout from full. So that's not good. <laughs> because of resistance and shrine doesn't affect it. So like we're actually never gonna get a knockout from full. Uh so it doesn't really help our cause any. Maybe we'll get lucky and we can knock this out before he uses GX deck. Because we can knock that out if we get like a couple shrine hits on it. Before he explodes, you know. There's our skateboard and our shrine. Weavile doesn't do anything either because the Xerneases don't have abilities. He needs to throw all of his energies down there. Right now he has two energies down there. So he's not going to be doing the thing yet. But we have Shrine. We have Guzma. We don't have a Dark Energy or a Draw Supporter though. If we can top deck a Dark Energy, I might I might just Guzma up. Oh, I want to give it some turns though. I, I want to I wanna give it a few turns before I actually do that. Because I can't really knock it out. I want to knock it out in one go. And I don't want to I don't want to damage it a, a bunch, but not knock it out and then let him explode himself. You know what I'm saying? So uh yeah, we're gonna avoid doing that. I have to keep this bench space open for Lele. So I don't think I'm going to bench anything with this nest ball. How many energies do he have down there now? He has to have like five energy cards. Right now he only has two, so he's not really doing much. It's such a weird concept, right? Because like you're not drawing as many energies because of Geomancy and uh or like landing them with the Aquabike. So you're still playing Electro. Like Electro to me feels like you would do that mid game, right? I don't know. I don't know. We got Judge. That doesn't really help as much. <laughs> we have you. I don't think he'll be attacking. If it does, it's going to be sad. But then it makes counter energy live. Uh, he has two abilities down, which means we're only hitting for 100. So we have to hold on hold on to that. Uh, if we Nest Ball, I don't want to do that. I just don't want to Nest Ball yet. I mean, we're never taking an Oko anyway, so we don't really list, realistically need a full bench. This is good. At least we can attack this turn, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll put some damage on the board. I right, see how many heads we get. Come on. One. All right. All right. All right. That's positive, at least. Uh, you guys got to keep track. Keep track of how many heads I'm flipping throughout the whole game. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to do it again. But I don't. I think I think this is fine. We're hitting for 36090. Oh, wait a minute. We do take knockout. 36091, 2150. Oh yeah, we can take knockout. What am I thinking about? I'm thinking about I'm thinking about doing 20 times. We can still take a knockout. But no, obviously we're not gonna try this one. We're just gonna click no. We're just gonna do the damage. This is a two a KO, so that's that's all that matters, right? Okay, so I'm I'm like miscalculating. We have choice band too, so I actually might Guzma this up. I'm sorry guys. I'm I'm I just got out of like work. Uh, two job. I got out of my second job today after talking to a lawyer and going to the doctor's office. You guys know that my sister got hit, so we we're suing the guy that hit us because he's like part of. He's like a. He's like a truck from a company. So we're trying. We're so we're trying to sue because like they almost killed her. Like she's and I've been taking care of her too. She's like bedridden. So like it's been a lot of work. Is he gonna Guzma? The Cynthia. How many energies does he have down there now? Still only two. Dope. I definitely want to Guzma this up at some point. We have to find counter energies too. He's gonna get Xerneas Break. I think this thing only has like 150 HP, right? Like, it's not even much different from this, which is kind of nice. That means we can still potentially take a knockout. We just have to put down this Lele in our hand, which we're gonna have to do, I think. Oh, but he's doing that one on the bench, All right? So he's trying to keep the uh, the ones healthy, I guess. Unless he's just gonna get them all out right now. Oh, I guess so. Does he have an energy to attach? Please say no. Please say no. Just say no. You don't have one. Why, why do you have that? <laughs> why, why did you take away my lovely shrine? We have to flip five heads with a choice band to knock out that, uh, to knock out that thing on the bench. Everybody has counter stadiums, bro. Stop having counter stadiums. God, he has like two counter energies down there. He's he wants me to take a knockout. Oh yeah, he has enough. Yeah, he's just gonna do it. He's going for it because now the counter energies are live the second he does the ability. So he's ready to start blowing me away. <laughs> Yikes! All right, well. The good thing is we take two prizes, and, and we're a non-GX deck ourselves, so as long as he doesn't Guzma up our Lele, uh, I was hoping that he wouldn't do it yet, so I could just Guzma and knock that out, but whatever. We got Cynthia, which is cool. We also got an Ultra Ball, which is good, because we get another Sneasel down. We just have to find our counter energy this turn. So I might just actually Lele, or Lily, and drop the Cynthia in our hand. That might just be what I do. He did give us the weakened one, which is nice. This one has the least amount of energy, though, so... Um, ooh, we got Shrine. That's nice. Is that nice? I mean, we're weakening ourselves, but like we're getting rid of his momentum, and that's kind of nice, I guess. 
yeah, I think we, I think we just do this, to be honest. Get another Sneasel down. He only has one ability down again, so not too useful. I mean, we are at four prizes, right? That's how the thing works. Like, we have to be at four prizes. I mean, we have one Sneasel down already. We don't technically need to. If your opponent has exact, oh, is it opponent? No, it's opponent, so it doesn't work actually. Uh, well, it'll work. It'll work next turn. We'll just get down Sneasel for now. So hopefully we can get a counter energy off this. I don't think we've used one yet. We haven't tossed one either. I know we shuffled one back in, so we might get lucky here. Come on, Lily. Counter. Oh, sweet. All right, so I'm gonna give it to the non-banded one. We are behind on prizes, right? Oh wait, a minute, we're not. No, we can't, doesn't even work right now. Ooh, glad I glad I double checked that. I forgot that he used electrode. I just assumed he just took a knockout and just dipped. Uh, I guess we'll attach here, and just do this. We have to find a unit energy if we're gonna use uh, if we're gonna use Buzzle next turn. We have Gu we have Guzman hand, is why I don't mind giving him like a thing. I don't like giving him Flipteeny in particular, but whatever. As long as he doesn't Guzma up by Lele, we should be. Like, I guess, technically have the advantage. We just have to take knockouts. I want to knock out the Oranguru. That has a lot of energy on it in its own right, too. So I think I'm going to go for Oranguru next turn. All we need is, like, like how many heads? We don't even need that many heads if we go for Oranguru. We have the top deck, like, a unit energy right now, though. Oh, that would have been super nice. That, that would have been the dream. <laughs> that would have been the dream. All right, we'll go. We can't counter energy yet, so we'll choice band this. And we're gonna go for the Ranguru. So we have to land 36, 90, 120. We have to land four heads. Can we land four heads? I'm going for four heads. Like, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, that's not a good sign. Yes. Come on, no. I need, oh, okay. All right. Uh, would you like to flip again? Yes, I do. I want four heads, not four tails. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thanks a lot, game. No, that's cool. No, I appreciate you, game. <laughs> it's all right it's okay i I've, i literally i literally went home and i was just like i feel like torturing myself i want to play a flip deck and this is what i get i did this to me i woke up this morning and decided hey i'm going to play a deck that requires flipping because i feel like sometimes i'm over i'm over exaggerating you know like i don't think my luck is that bad that's pretty bad <laughs> All right, uh, okay, so I believe we went four from two and five to one. So we can no longer use our unit energy play. So I'm gonna nest ball just to get like a thing on the bench, I suppose. Ooh, oh crap, it is like storming super hard right now. But we can shuffle back in some sneezles. I think we have to wait for the next one to be knocked out first though. We have another counter energy, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we we got to take a knockout now, though, right? We don't even need that many heads. We need, like, what? We have to hit for 80, which means we have to hit for 100. So we have to flip four heads again. Oh, that sucks. We got to flip four heads again. Uh, no, that's cool. All right, game. 30, 60, 90. 90 becomes 70. We got to flip again. Come on. Come on. I just got to flip four heads. Come on. There we go. There. Oh, look. We still, we're still not positive, but for the first time, we actually went positive in a flip. Actually, we went positive in a flip in the first flip, too. All right, we got Weavile. He still only has one ability down, so it's not, like, super great for us. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'm going to keep going until I get a win. That's not true. I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to keep going. Because, like, at the very least, like, it's okay. Because this was more of a fun deck. It's, it's like, quote-unquote better post-rotation. Uh, Cause there's less cards to disrupt you. There's it's a lot easier. It's a lot it's a lot less easier to disrupt you setting up in the back, I guess. Uh, so like quote unquote easier post rotation. Ooh, counter energies. I'm taking this. I'm taking this. I just need I just need I'm not counter energy. Oh man, I need to to get another counter energy. Cause like it's hard to tank hits in this deck. There's a lele. What's he doing with lele? I'm gonna judge him. So that's pretty good. He did just play end, so we're pretty set for the most part. He's gonna get Guzma. He's trying to get Guzma for game, but you're getting judged, boy. We PR. We PR out here. We PRing. We are PRing out here. 
Can we win this? I don't think it's possible. We can definitely try, but I don't think it's possible. I think we are HP is too low and he has too little ability. I guess if we get like a Weavile this turn, we can at least take a knockout. As long as we get Weavile energy. We don't have Rescue Stretch anymore, which is kind of, kind of bad. Uh, these are a bunch of cards I don't need. I also don't even want to use Counter Energy this turn because I want to knock out the Oranguru. Because uh, we literally, it's going to be so hard for us to knock that out one hit. But you know, we'll, just, we'll just judge, you know. We're, we're having fun out here. We're having a good time. <laughs> we can't Nest Ball because all of our things are in Discard Pile. Um, I mean, we can Nest Ball just to get a Pokemon down. But I think the only Pokemon left in the deck is Lele. And I can only hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 150 with resistance. It's not a knockout. So once again, I have to get four heads on this. Now he has 90 HP left, actually. So I only have to get three heads. So we're going for it. I can't. I mean, I could technically Psywave. Psywave hits for 20 times the amount of energy they have attached. So I can hit this thing for like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 100 damage. Is that better? then we're gonna have a hard time counter energy uh, attacking with yeah i think we have to attack with this we have to wait for a unit energy to happen to attack with that i think we'll go for this it at least disrupts them from getting like a guzma or something a little bit at least <clears throat> come on come on four heads with three heads just three heads just three heads come on there we go uh would you like to no so let me take my knockout come on good job Sneasel. i'm proud of you i'm proud of you buddy look man all we gotta do is knock out that lady on the bench it is 100% a possibility. If he takes a prize here, all we need to do is get another counter. I don't think we have another counter energy, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, no, we do, right? We have one more counter energy. All we have to do is get another counter energy and flip really, really well. That's all we got. That's how we win this game. We got to get Sneasel. So we have the top deck Rescue Stretcher. Actually, we have the top deck a Draw Supporter. That Draw Supporter needs to get us Rescue Stretcher and counter energy. Uh, preferably a couple Nest Balls as well to fill up our bench. And then we just got a Guzma. We got a, we got a, we're going to have to catch her up this, uh, lately this turn. He's running, I'm, I'm assuming at this point. Oh, they got the Guzma. Never mind. Never mind. It was a dream that was, you know, I wanted, I wanted, the, I wanted the dream to happen. I, I did, I did, I did, I did. But look, we had, we had the game, right? All we have to do is flip well. <laughs> we had the game. All we have to do is draw well and flip well. <laughs> the game plan was there. It was there. We just had to draw a draw supporter and then get all those cards I mentioned <laughs> as well as flip, uh, if we have a choice band attached, like only, only five heads, right? This is like five, yeah, only five heads. It's not even that bad. If we found a shrine, we just need that shrine to stick for one extra turn. So like, you know, they're, they're, there's possibilities. They're there. They are definitely there. You know what would have been good in this deck? Finding any of our two enhance hammers. That would have been super dope. <laughs> that would have been crazy dope. We have two enhance hammers. I know if you guys remember the deck profile though, we have two. Why do I always lead with Lele? I have four Sneasels and a bunch of tech attackers and only two Leles. Why am I leading with Lele? That should not be a thing that happens. I am going slightly insane. We're also not going first this game either. <laughs> oh god, and now we're playing against Metal. I guess Metal's not a big deal. Ultra Beast, huh? Do we have any Ultra Beast? I don't think we have any Ultra Beast, but this will give us a free turn to look at our deck. Hey, if he's playing Celesteela, then uh, we're gonna have a hard time. <laughs> but we have Shrine, and Shrine's really good against like these Celesteela decks, so that's pretty cool. Um, we don't have any psychic attackers and like they don't really matter because like if we had like mute if we had like Deoxys or Psywave or whatever, it wouldn't really change anything. Like the Psywave, the Mew, uh Lele. You could play the psychic type Lele, just because you have the unit energy. Uh I guess you could play like a four of unit energy. The reason why I don't I'm not playing a four of is because enhance hammer is a thing, and I'd rather attach a basic almost every single time. Uh do I play this down now? I mean it doesn't really do anything this turn. But I should play it down just because thinning. Alright, let's get down. Let's see, we got do we have any Ultra Beast? I don't think we have any Ultra Beast. Oh, we do. We have Buzzle. We can get Buzzle. Um, let's see. We're pretty... We have all of our Pokemon, so that's pretty nice. Let me get Baby Buzz. No point in attaching to it, so I'm not going to. But I just want to get this Baby Buzz out before I play my Shrine. I have to play the Shrine, unfortunately. Um, so, like, that kind of sucks. Because I do want to draw six off this Lily. Because, like, by drawing off Lily, I'm also preserving an energy and a... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, preserving an energy and a draw support for next turn as well. If he plays stack attacker, a like evil admonition is going to be a boss in this match. So maybe we can show off evil admonition and might just play like an evil admonition deck in the future. That could be fun.
All right, let's take a look here. What's my opponent doing? There's Naganadel. Naganadel is pretty scary. He is not weak to dark. And uh, we, we resist. We, we resist. All right, we, we're beating Naga. We resist. He has to have at least four Ultra Beasts down. He's going to judge me. Oh, that sucks. Oh, is he playing PR2? Bro, we might actually get a post rotation in the game here. It might be that time. It just might be that time. Uh, oh, we got Guzma. We got a Dark Energy. Oh, he got rid of my Shrine, though. That's kind of lame. We don't have enough Pokemon down. He only has one. He only has one stack attack at two. So I, I kind of want to preserve. Kind of want to just preserve for a little bit. Hopefully I get a draw support. Yeah, he's not even getting like that many. Uh, he's not even getting that many abilities down. So our Weavile is not going to be super useful this game. But we do have a choice band and we can at least do damage. He has enough damage to Oko my Pokemon. So here's the thing, right? I want to weaken something that's heavy. So I'm going to weaken this over here. That seems like the best play, right? And if we weaken a bunch of things on the board too, and if he keeps moving around and stuff, we can always use uh, what's it called later. Uh, we don't have any more Pokemon we can play down. I guess I can look through the deck real quick. We need a draw supporter. All right, beat up, do your thing. One, two, let's get it. Let's go, come on, yeah. <laughs> if I had one more Pokemon, bro, that would have been knockout. That would have been clean. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. The first game we finally get all heads and we don't have a full bench. Oh, I'm so upset, but that was so dope. Dude, shout out to, shout out to Pokemon. <laughs> I gave you a lot of crap Pokemon, but that was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. How do we hit? Oh, we hit 170 because of stack attack. I was like, doesn't even make any sense, but that's fine. It's okay. Another Naga. So what's he going to do here? I need, I need Shrine, bro. I need Shrine. I need to stick for one turn. I need Shrine. I need to find Shrine. I need to stick for one turn. This is why we play four Shrines. Please do not have Guzma. Get yourself a Lele and like play cop play like play like copycat or like judge. That'd be really dope. Don't play Cynthia. How are you gonna switch? If he doesn't play Guzma this turn, unless he's playing switches, he's not gonna be able to switch. I mean this this deck should be playing switches, at least from my testing. Oh, he can't even Oh. Uh ooh ooh. Ooh, boys and girls, we might have found a decent match. <laughs> oh, we're getting attachments every turn. Boys and girls. All we need is one heads. Of course, we start with nothing but tails. <laughs> that would have been so funny if I got like five tails. That would have been just the perfect, perfect storm. Perfect storm. The perfect storm. There we got Shrine too. Oh, please just don't top deck anything ever. Just don't top deck anything ever. Let me top deck something, but you never top deck anything. That seems like a really good idea to me. Because I'm putting you to bed, bro. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you, your board is too nice. <laughs> it's too nice. You know, I have Psychic Resistance here, and I think it only works for like... Oh no, it does work for all Ultra Beasts, right? So if he doesn't put down, oh he has a he has a thing though. Never mind. I'm about to say if he doesn't put down like a fifth Ultra Beast or sixth Ultra Beast, then we can survive with this. But yeah, he can just use his, his stadium. So I guess that's a thing. Okay, so here's the next problem, right? What am I going into? <laughs> do I just hope for the top deck, or do I have to go into this and put him to sleep? Because we have we have this now. So if this if this sticks, then if we put him to sleep, that's even better. I'm going to have to do that, honestly. I have to put damage on the board. Uh, so we're going to put down and... Oh, well, you know what? I'm not even mad. We got our unit energy. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to get increased damage next turn. So I'm actually just going to evil admonition him here. And then next turn, as long as he has a knockout Lele, I take a knockout with Buzzwool. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, yeah, we can't really do much else. Yeah, I'll evil admonition this. I'm hitting him for like 80. Uh, 80 into 150, which becomes one. Yeah, we should take a knockout. All right, guys. We're, we're playing against a post-rotation deck. So, so far, at least we're playing against a post-rotation deck. So, oh, the B-strings. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the B-strings are here. They're alive. <laughs> They're kicking. All right, we got, we're got being B-straighted, but it's okay, because we got Buzzle, and we got Yuna Energy, and all we got to do is top deck like a, like a king. And everything's being weakened, because Shrine is the best card in the game. So, like, let's get it, Shrine. We hit him for 100, which is enough. We don't even have to attach our thing, which is really nice because I can just do this. You get another Sneasel, thin the deck a little bit. If I had more unit energies, I would, or even a counter energy, I would totally play it on top of Lele right now. Uh, but it doesn't really do much, right? Because we can just do this, and then we're only hitting for 100, which then puts him in range of the shrine. So we will do that. We'll keep our choice band for our, for our baby boys over here. 
we take two prizes which gets us more stuff in our hand which is nice and uh we can so we can potentially win this uh as long as we can like attach energies every turn which is kind of rough we might have to and, we, and the thing is we have lele down which is always going to be a problem because if he gets guzma he can just win because we can't really use counter energy anymore we just have to like stall i might have to like put in a sleep and try to do a sleep tactic to be honest although like if we put enough damage on the board we can always use admonition because he has like he only has two abilities down right now and he could technically attack with this. I'm surprised he didn't attack with that. I would have just... Oh, he has three abilities now. I mean, obviously, we're getting reduced by 30, but that's still 120 damage. So, uh, that's pretty cool. I could give him the Lele now, right? And then that would activate counter energy, which could potentially win me the game. But we have to find the counter energy. So, I don't think that's the best play. Although, if I feel like that's the play I have to make, I might just have to manually retreat to Lele. Oh, we got Judge. Mm. I think that's the only play we can make, to be honest. Let me get Flipteeny down. Unless we can... How much damage is on the board? 30, 60, 90. It's not enough to do anything, really. Let me get Flipteeny down. Alright, so I'm going to attach here. So I feel like it's my only like legitimate play. Oh, come on. Don't don't disconnect. Please don't disconnect. Please. Please. I know my house has crowded internet because I can't afford good internet, but come on. Don't do this to me. It's the only game where probably we might have a chance of winning. Of course. Of course. Goodbye, guys. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is stupid. This is actually dumb. <laughs> Ah, this is so dumb. It's so bad too because like the server, the like TCGO, like its servers are kind of wonky. So like if you ever disconnect for even a split second, like as you can see, I'm still connected. Let me actually just do this real quick. Actually, uh, I'm still like connected because that's why I'm able. That's why the loading bar is on the screen. Even though there we go, that's why the loading bar is on the screen because I'm still connected. But I would I disconnect for like a split second, and uh, you know. TCGO is just like, hey, I heard that you disconnect for a split second. Well, this video is all about how unlucky you are, so. <sighs> That's upsetting, man. That was a good game because we had a post-rotation game. <laughs> it was like a legitimate post-rotation game, and we played that pretty well, and we got Judge, so that means we got four extra cards, and like, we were, we were, go we were moving places, guys. We were moving. We were moving. I hope nobody takes this video seriously. I like to, I, sometimes, I, I very rarely upload joke videos like these because like, like for instance, the Rotom deck and stuff like that. A lot of people take these games a little bit too seriously. Hey, we finally went first. That's really nice. Um, like, and they just like, oh, your deck is wrong for this reason and that reason. I'm just like, bro, I'm playing Sneasel. <laughs> just leave, it's okay. I'm just I'm just trying to have, a, oh, he plays parallel. All right, so we're going to enter his playing Psychic. Um, we're going to have a bad time with this one. <laughs> Although technically... Oh, wait a minute, Psyche doesn't mind. I forgot to say anything. I'm not saying anything. Let's see what he's playing. I'm assuming it's like Espeon Garb or Drampa Garb or something. Yeah, Garb. Uh, good old Garbador. Good old Trash Boy. I gotta play things this turn. I want to keep my choice bands. I'm gonna try to turn one Judges, man. I'm gonna get real greedy with it. I'm gonna get real greedy. I don't, even, I don't even care. At this point in the game, he's playing all this garbage. I'm gonna get greedy. I'm gonna get super greedy. I don't think it's really effective to get greedy against like psychic decks because of mystery treasure, but I'm getting greedy. Watch me. Watch. I'm getting greedy. I'm getting super greedy out here. Greed. The greed. I'm getting greedy. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm playing down my shrine. I'm getting greedy. Watch me. Watch me. I'm getting greedy. Play down those leleis. Get punished. Get shrine of punished. I'm. I'm getting. I'm getting mad. My good game got disconnected. I'm, oh yeah, there's a parallel. You know what? Fine, it's fine. You know what? You know that's fine. You're getting greedy too. S go. I'm just kidding. You know what? You do you, big dog. World is coming up. You got to practice. Make sure you, unless if you're not going the world, so I don't even know what you're doing, bro. Playing the wrong format. <laughs> he even got Cynthia. Wow. What a lucky, what a lucky dude. What a lucky dude. Getting Cynthia off my judge. How could you? I got Cynthia off my judge because I didn't discard with Ultra Ball because I was tactical. You out here getting Cynthia because you're not tactical. That's right. Don't even switch, bro. Leave your trubbish out here. I'm, I'm gonna. Okay, go for the Eevee then. See if I care. I need, to, I need to get me the escape board real quick. Yeah, that's right. Flip your tails. This is my video. Uh, crap. Well, I gotta play this down. Just kind of sucks because I can't draw into it. I don't want to draw into it. 
So uh, come on, a skateboard. That's unfortunate. Um, we didn't get shrine. We didn't get a skateboard. So we just have to be sad and pass, I think. Uh, at least we have Lily. So we can ultra ball. We can ultra ball away the dark energies or whatever we draw. Attach an energy. Use our use our rescue stretcher to put down another Sneasel. Or, 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 I mean, I uh, get Fictini, I should say. Why are you playing Blower? Why are you out here playing Blower? Why is he playing? Why are you, why are you doing this? Why are you gotta make me sad, bro? It's, you're just like full of making me, I'm all sad. Like, I'm just trying to flip heads. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, oh, he's, oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Boys and girls, we might be on this over here. <laughs> uh, more choice bands. Okay, so. I want to draw for sure this turn. So I want to, I think... I'm gonna be in this awkward. I can't just drop. I I can't I can't afford to really drop. Uh, to drop choice band. Also, shouldn't be dropping items in general because he was playing trash lanch, but whatever. It's not like I care. Um, I guess I'll attach here as much as I don't want to. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit risky. I'm gonna draw first off Lily. I'm drawing one less card, which could be a big deal. Because what I, I want to get the um, the skateboard, but I don't think it's worth it. We, all we need is two heads. We just need two, unless we get shrine here. Yes. Yes. All right. So here's the thing. I'm gonna put down a Lele. because <laughs> I'm not gonna get a lot of chances to use Lele. So we're gonna put down a Lele here. We use that Lele to give me a draw supporter. <laughs> Also, this means I only have to flip two heads, only two. It's not, it's not even bad. And if he stays stuck, if he stays stuck with these SB hands, I will uh, take it to the bank. I'm talking cha-ching. I'm going to cash that boy. What do I have in my hand? Like, I'm going to get Lily instead because Lily could potentially give me more cards. Or, I mean, could potentially be more useful because I want to keep Cynthia's for late game. And I could play both these cards down next turn. So... Just two heads. Come on. Come on. Just two. All I need is two. Just two heads. One. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Sneasel. I appreciate you. I No, I do not want to flip again. <laughs> I, I don't. As long as we can avoid Espeons on the board, that's nice. We also have to get rid of all the trash lanches, but like, that, that's that's a different story. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. They're already hitting 120. It's not happening. Uh, although if they do put us down to four, if they, if we can put them down to four prizes, Ooh, he's playing trash lanch. It's an ability. We like abilities. Ooh, yeah. Sack them all off, bro. Give me, give me those delicious, nutritious. Oh, please, please don't get heads. Of course. Not. I'm the one supposed, I am the video. Oh, okay. We're not doing game crunch references. I'm the one who's supposed to get heads. Like we can just play all these boys down. I don't like playing this down cause it's like fodder, but like whatever. Give me my five cards. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at, look at that. All right. All I need is three heads. Just three. All I need is three. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? I deserve this for the last couple of games. My fourth game has to be, my opponent has to get unlucky. I have to get lucky. I deserve this. <laughs> I am just a young man. Just top deck nothing. Come on. I, I want to leave with a win. Let me leave with a win. Come here. Couldn't let me leave with a win. He just couldn't do it. <laughs> Give me that Trubbish, bro. <laughs> Give me this. That's fine. I'll take this as well. Uh, oh, there's my skateboard. Now I kind of avoid. Want to? I want to avoid playing stuff. I don't have Goose in hand. Oh, that would have been really nice. All right, so we got to beat up. We got to land. Three, we got to land four heads. Come on, just four heads. That's all we need is just four heads. Let's get it. Come on. Yeah. No. Yes. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no that's okay it's okay just keep getting those dead draws keep getting those dead draws bro you don't need anything you don't need to play pokemon but one's a bad game don't play it yes i will leave with my w thank you guys all for watching remember 72 likes and we're bringing crushing hammers we're bringing order we're bringing the works next time what do i oh i love playing lucario give me this um we're bringing just straight, you know what I'm going to do right now? What well, here's what I'm going to do right now, right? just for you guys. We're going to type, we're going to go, I don't know. Oh, this is, this is, I got to update my, my expanded stuff. Um, dude, dude, let me know if you guys remember uh, Archie's Primarina. 
That is a, uh, why do I not have, okay, hold on. That's what I did, right? S E N E N. Well, that's what I meant to do at least. Um, we're going to go right here. We're going to trainers. All right, here's what we're going to do, right? Check it, check it. We're going to filter. We're going to put in, we're going to click all the sun and moon stuff. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do this. Check this out. You see this promos, right? Yeah, there we go. And apply this. Then we're going to type the words, flip a coin. <laughs> Let's see. We're playing, we're playing crushing hammers. Oh my God. It just might be time for us to play a Lima. Uh, Life Herb doesn't really do anything in this deck. What does Lure Ball do? Flip through coins for each for the evolution Pokemon. Ah, it doesn't do anything. But we got order pads. We got Alimas. <laughs> Who needs four Cynthia when we can play for Lima? We got Pokeball. We got Who needs Ultra Ball? We got Pokeball. We got K Pokemon Catcher. Do I want to play that over Counter Catcher though? I don't know. We got the Scoop. We don't really need Scoop up. Um, we don't really need Time Ball. All right, so that there's there's a deck. You guys want to see that? Seventy two likes. Don't forget to drop a like on this fliptastic video. Uh, let me know, that, answer the comment question down below from earlier, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.